first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel a uh, two quick information about the field free to learn platform so first is the pen drive so from the previous year we started giving all my youtube videos what i posted on my field free to learn platform in the offline mode that is in the pen drive mode or in the sd card mode so if you want this pen drive or if you want sd card kindly whatsapp us we will give you all the details how to purchase and all the details will be given so whatsapp us and get all my youtube videos what i posted on my field free to learn platform in offline mode so where you can able to watch my videos without internet and second importantly so after getting this pen drive the test series will be activated that is all in one test package so inside that inside a quantitative aptitude you can able to see five topics on pipes and pistons that is five test on the topic pipes and pistons so don't forget to write all the five test either after watching all my pipes and pistons video or else if you already know the concepts of pipes and pistons so don't forget to write the test series always practice is more important so in case if you want to get the pen drive so don't forget to whatsapp us so friends, thank you so much and now let me move on to the topic of pipes and pistons. So friends, now in this lesson number 5 on the topic pipes and pistons, we are going to solve some of the question that is based on the concept called a leak. So, uh, so friends, remember one thing before watching this lesson number 5, don't forget to learn all the previous lessons. So only if you learn all the previous lesson, you will feel easy while coming to this lesson number 5, right? So here in this lesson number 5, we will be solving a question that is based on a piston leak, a tank leak. Usually when you take pipes and pistons topic, right, 30 percentage of the question, this the concept that out of 100 percentage, 30 percentage of the question concept will be based on the leak. A tank which has a leak so because of that leak the time taken to fill the tank is more so those kinds of question you can able to see more and more in the topic pipes and pistons but before solving a question you have to remember one important thing right just listen here assume that there is a tank right so a tank which has a outlet pipe and it is not a leak right so outlet pipe a so this is one criteria right there is an another criteria a tank which has a leak right so second criteria just listen here here in the first model right first criteria where a tank which has a outlet pipe in the second criteria where the tank which has a leak here both are doing a same function yes or no here also in this criteria where the water is getting drained out from the tank this pipe helps the water which is inside the tank to drain out using this pipe which is the function of this first model the second model also because of this leak the water is coming out from the tank and makes the piston empty so both are doing the same function here the pipe is doing the function but here because of that small leak in the tank the water is coming out but in both the cases the concept is same the water is coming out from the tank that's it here also the water is going to drain here also the water is going to drain then what is the difference between an outlet pipe and a leak there is only one different in this case right in this case in the case of this this model question you can able to see the pipe efficiency will be given this pipe can drain a water in 8 hours this pipe can drain a water in 12 hours or else this pipe is three times efficient than the inlet pipe this pipe data will be given but in this model the leak data will not be given they usually say in the question there is a leak there is a leak because of this leak the time taken to fill the piston is two hours more so here they won't say this leak is how much capacity the water will drain out because of this leak how much water is getting out or how much time it takes to get out those details they won't give you in the question but here if there is an outlet pipe they will give you some data about the outlet pipe so in the question if there is a leak they will always talk about there is a leak in the tank because of that leak the time taken to fill the piston is more so there the leak data won't be given right always if there is a leak we have to find what is the inlet pipe efficiency what is the uh, because of this leak how much time it takes more so we have to find all those data so that is the difference between model 1 and model 2 because many students usually ask this because both the model are doing a same function here also the outlet pipe is going to drain the water which is inside the tank here also the leak which is the water that is going to comes out from the leak which makes the tank to empty 
So both are doing the same function. Then what is the difference? This is the difference, right? If there is a pipe, they will give you all the details, the efficiency of the pipe or the time taken to drain the water. Every data will be given in this model number one question. But when you take model number two, they always say a tank which has a leak. But they didn't talk about that. What is the water that is coming out from this leak? They will say like because of this leak, the time taken to fill the tank is more. Two hours more, ten hours more, etc. So by using the data, we have to find what is the tank capacity or how much hours more it will take to fill the tank. So those kinds of things we have to find. right? So once that's it about this uh, basics to solve a question on leak because you need to know what is the difference between the outlet pipe and the leak. That's the reason I have told you initially. So now let me move on to all the questions that is based on the leak concept. Question number one. So a piston is normally filled in eight hours, but it takes 10 hours to fill because of leak in the bottom. So if the piston is filled, then the leak will empty it in. When so just listen here, have you understood the concept of the question? Very simple question, right? So a piston is normally filled in eight hours. What is the meaning of it? So the piston, usually a tank takes eight hours to fill. But here, because of there is a leak at the bottom of the tank, it takes 10 hours, that is two hours more. It takes 10 hours because of the leak, right? If, if there is a leak in the tank, then the water, some amount of water will goes out of the leak. So now what they're saying is, without a leak, a tank will fill in eight hours. But with a leak, the tank is taking 10 hours to fill. So now our target is to find, if the piston is full, if the tank is full, what is the time that takes to empty the tank? This is the question. Very simple question. Whenever you know that eight hours, a piston is normally filled in eight hours. So 1 hour, 1 by 8. In the first model itself, I have told you this. Whenever, if there is a tap that empties the piston, you always have to subtract it. Here also, there is a leak at the bottom. So what is the function of the leak? It is also going to drain the water out. So here also subtract, right? This subtraction, whenever a water that is coming out of the tank, it either it drains or either it comes out through the pipe, it is going to drain the water inside the tank, right? So whenever the water is coming out from the tank, you always, you need to subtract, right? So minus of here, it takes 10 hours, right? So minus of 1 by 10. Just do it. So LCM, we can take it as 80 here, right? So, or else you can take LCM as 40, right? When you take LCM as 40, so 8 5s are 40. So 5 times 10 4s are 40 minus 4. So 1 divided by 40. So all the values are in hours. So the answer will be 40 hours. So in 40 hours, the tank will get empty. Because of that leak, the tank will empty in 40 hours. So which is the answer for the question. Very easy or not, right? So it's very easy. Everyone knows how to solve it. But only thing is you need to understand the concept, right? So if you understand the concept, then solving a question will be very simple. Question number two. So there is a leak in the bottom of the piston. When the piston is throughoutly repaired, it would be filled in 12 minutes. It now takes 18 minutes longer. So if the piston is filled, how long will, will the leak take to empty the piston? So our target is to find how long it will take to empty the piston because of that leak in the tank. So similar model and a basic question, but there is a chance of making a mistake here. Just see here. So without a leak, a tank will take how many minutes to fill? 12 minutes to fill, right? This is without a leak, but because of a leak, the tank is taking 18 minutes longer, right? Just, just listen here, 18 minutes longer, right? What is the meaning of it? I've seen most of the students write this as because of a leak, a tank is taking 18 minutes to fill. Is this correct? No, it is actually wrong, right? What they have given, it's a basic question, simple question, but I have seen many students making mistake here. So without a leak, a tank will fill in 12 minutes. Because of a leak, students will write this as, it takes 18 minutes to fill the tank. No, it is actually wrong. It takes 18 minutes longer. What is the meaning of 18 minutes longer? Already a tank will be filled in 12 minutes, but because of a leak, it takes 18 minutes longer. Longer is nothing but 18 minutes more. So if it is 18 minutes more, then it takes 30 minutes. Understood or not? Because of a leak, it takes 30 minutes to fill the tank. 18 plus already 12 minutes. So 12 plus 18 will be 30 minutes. So without a leak, a tank will take only 12 minutes to fill. 
including because of that leak in the bottom of the tank so now it takes 18 minutes longer that is 18 minutes more so 12 minutes usual time if 18 minutes more 18 plus 12 will be 30 minutes so this 30 minutes is required to fill a tank if the tank is having a leak at the bottom so friends understood or not now the same procedure right so 1 by 12 minus of because there is a leak right so minus of 1 by 30 so now take lcm here so 60 lcm so this will be 5 times this will be 2 times so 3 by 60 so 1 by 20 and all the values are given in minutes so we can say that answer will be 20 minutes so in 20 minutes the complete tank will be empty due to that leak so which is the answer for question number two so once understood or not right so everything is same and easy what we learned in the basics I have seen students making mistake here instead of 30 students usually write this as 18. So don't do that it is not 18 it is 30. Why because they have given 18 minute longer. Right. So this 18 minute longer which it determines that already 12 minutes from the 12 minutes it takes another 18 minutes more that is 30 minutes. So answer will be here you have to write it as 30 don't write as 18. Got it? If you are learning for the first time pipes and pistons, make a note of it because in some difficult question there are chance of making a mistakes. So that's the reason I am saying this repeatedly. Right? But both the questions are a very basic question. So answer for question number two, it takes 20 minutes to empty the full piston. Question number three. So a piston has a leak. Again friends, this question number three is most important question, very important question. Not only question number three, next question also, same concept question. So question number three and question number four are most important. If you are preparing for railway exams, campus interviews, staff selection exams, most of the competitive exams, you can able to see question on this model, right? So first let me understand the question, what exactly they are saying. I will teach this question solvation method in a traditional way as well as in a shortcut method. That is not a shortcut, that is uh, writing the complete answer into a single equation just by two lines you can able to solve the complete question I will teach you that also but anyway always I never teach only the shortcut even though I teach shortcut I will teach you the traditional method also so here for this question I will teach both the methods but before that kindly understand the question properly that is important here you have to understand what is the data they have given what is the exact concept of the question so just listen here friends, a piston has a leak which would empty in 8 hours, right? A tank which has a leak that empties the piston in how many hours? 8 hours. Second point, a tap is turned on which admits 6 liter a minute into the piston and now it emptied in 12 hours. How many liters can the piston hold? So our target is to find what is the capacity of the piston, right? Our target is to find what? What is the capacity of the tank? They have given two datas, right? What is the first data they have given us? A, there is a leak in the tank, right? So because of this leak, a tank will empty in how many hours? Eight hours. This is the first data. What is the second data they have given? There is a tap. Tap is opened, right? That is inlet tap is opened. This tap admits. The meaning here is that the water that is coming out from this tap inside the piston will be six liter per minute, right? So because of this, some amount of water is coming here, right, from the tap. So because of additional amount of water is added to the tank, so now the tank takes 12 hours to empty, right? How many hours? Yes, 12 hours. So now it takes 12 hours to empty the piston. So by using this data, our target is to find, so how, what is the capacity of the tank? This tank capacity, we have to find it. Friends, first understood the concept or not, right? So there is a leak in the tank which takes 8 hours to empty the piston. So now they are adding an extra tap into the piston. So from the tap, the water is getting into the piston. So that water amount has been given 6 liter per minute. Okay, that's the data we give. 6 liter a minute. So every minute, 6 liter of water is getting into the tank. So because of some amount of water is getting into it, the time taken to empty the piston is more. So that's the reason the time taken to empty the piston is 12 hours. So now by using both the data, our target is to find what is the capacity of the tank. So when just, just listen here, a simple shortcut, right? A simple shortcut without writing in a huge steps or nothing like that, a very simple uh, shortcut. Usually the tank is taking how many hours to empty? Eight hours. 
right? 1 by 8. Right? Just, just listen here, most important thing. Here, because of some amount of water is added to the tank, the tank empty in how many hours? 12 hours. Right? Just listen here, 8 hours, usually the tank will be emptied. But because of some amount of water is added, it takes 12 hours. How much amount of water is added, that is the difference. Yes or no? Why it takes 12 hours? Because some amount of water is added to the tank, right? So the difference between the first data and the second data is how much? Just see how much for every minute, right? For every one minute, 6 liter of water is added, right? And all the values are in hours. So convert into hours. For 60 minutes, right? So how much, how much liter of water is added? 6 into 60. So which becomes 360 liter. So friends, Understood or not how this 360 uh, comes, right? So for every one minute, six liter of water is entering into the tank. Now, all the values are in hours. So I'm converting into hours. So one minute, six liter. 60 minutes equal to one hour. So six into 60 will be 360 liters. So this is the difference that is 360 liter. So once understood how I wrote this, right? So usually it takes eight hours. And now it takes 12 hours. Why it takes 12 hours? Because some amount of water is added. That amount of water is added is 360 liter. But we don't know what is the tank capacity. Out of total tank capacity, just this is the equation, right? If you understand this equation for only one question, this question, then solving all the question will be easy. That's the reason I'm teaching you very slowly and again and again, right? So just listen here usually a tank take only 8 hours right now it takes 12 hours because of some amount of water is added to the tank that amount of water is added for one hour is 360 liter that's what we found here so now usual time extra time the difference happen only because of this 360 liter right but we don't know what is the tank capacity that tank capacity is x out of total tank capacity in this time period in this difference is happened because of this 360 liter so now find it one difference is nothing but minus right so 1 by 12 is equals to 360 by x so 12 and 8 we can take lcm as 24 8 3s are 24 12 2s are 24 so 1 by 24 here by x so x is equal to so x is equal to 0 8640 is this right 8640 liters so which is the capacity of the tank understood or not right that's it right one simple equation is enough to solve the complete question it's any difficult here, nothing difficult here. Again, most of the students feel this question is hard because when you follow some unit method or LCM method, there is more number of chance of making a mistake on addition subtraction. But here, because I've seen students, those who are solving in a unit method, I've seen most of the students make a mistake. They convert, they have to convert into minute, hours, and then part of amount filled. By doing all those stuff, students will make a mistake. So if you are good at unit method, you can, but if you are not, you have not yet learned that unit method, definitely this method help you to solve the, these kinds of questions very easy, right? I can tell you again, just listen carefully, usual time 1 by 8. This 1 by 12 occurs only because of some amount of water is added to the tank. So that amount of water for added to the tank in 1 hour is how much? 360 liters. Right. So this will be the total capacity of the tank. Total capacity of the tank, some amount of water is added. That amount is the difference between both the timings. Right. So 1 by 8 and 1 by 12. So now after finding the difference, cross multiply it. So x is equal to 8640 liters. So we can say answer for this question will be 8640 liter. It is the normal shortcut method. Some students will say it's an equation method to solve a question. You can name it as you wish. So, but it's one of the easy way, right? In case, if you want to solve the question in a traditional method, I can solve the question in a traditional method too. Yep. So now the traditional method is just similarly the same way, right? So 1 by 8 minus 1 by 12, right? Is equals to take LCM as 24 here. 8 3s are 24, 12 2s are 24. So 3 minus 2 will be 1. So 1 by 24. The meaning here is 24 hours, right? The Usually when you take LCM, 
What is the meaning of it? In 24 hours, the tank will be filled. That is the meaning of it. All 24 hours, the tank will be gets emptied. So now, here everything is in hours, right? So the meaning here is 1 by 24 hours. Tank will be filled. So now, here the values are in hours, right? Traditional method. Here the values are in hours. But there is 6 liter of water is added in every minute. So convert this R into minutes. So 1 divided by 24 into 60. So when you convert it 0, 6 4s are 24 to 144. Just listen here. In 1 minute, right? In 1 minute, 1 divided by 1440 part is filled. Out of water is filled. Right? Just listen carefully what I did. So 24 hours the tank will be filled and here it is in hours. So I have converted into minute in order to convert into minute into 60. Right? So 24 into 60 will be 1440. So in every one minute 1 by 1440 part is filled. So now in order to fill one part, right, one part of the tank, it will take 1440 minute. Understood or not? Right? When you bring this 1442 at this side. So one part filled in 1440 minute. So for every one minute, how much liter of how much water is added? Six liter. So one four four zero into six liter. So zero six four are twenty four two six four are twenty four twenty five twenty six to eight. So this will be the capacity of the tank. This is called as the traditional method, right? So in this way, we solve the question traditionally, but this is one of the easy way to solve the question because there are more chance of making a mistake even in the traditional method. So can, I think traditional is also easy, right? First, we have to take LCM and we can find how many hours it will take to fill. And after it, in hours, we have to convert into minutes. So we have converted into minute. So in every one minute, one by one, four, four, zero part is filled. So by this data, we know that one part will be filled in 1440 minute. So in every minute, 6 liter of water is added. So 1440 into 6 liter will be 8640 liter. So the total capacity of the tank will be 8640 liter. Right? So this will be the answer for the question. We can solve some questions so that you may feel uh, easy while solving two or more questions. Right? So let me move on to the next question now. Question number four. So a tank has a leak which would empty the complete filled tank in 10 hours. If the tank is full of water and the tap is opened which admits 4 liter of water per minute in the tank, it takes 15 hours to empty the tank. So how many liters of water that the tank does hold? Just, just listen here, again our target is to find how many liter of water does the tank hold. That is we need to find the capacity of the tank. And they have given a two data, the same model question. So initially the tank will leak, that is the tank, because of this leak, the tank empties in how many hours they have given 10 hours. So now some extra amount of water is added to the tank by using a pipe. And that water which comes into the tank is how many liters of water? So 4 liter of water, 4 liter of water, that too in minute. So for every minute, 4 liter of water is coming inside the tank through the pipe. So now because of that, the tank empties in how many hours they have given? The tank empties in 15 hours. So by using this data, what is our target? Our target is to find what is the capacity of the tank. First, we have learned the shortcut, right? Shortcut or the equation method as per your wish, right? So now what we need to do is a simple equation. First of all, a tank will be emptied in how many hours? 10 hours, 1 by 10. And second, uh, by using some extra amount of water is added to the tank, now the tank gets emptied in how many hours? 15 hours. So the difference is what? The difference is the water that extra amount of water is added to the tank. So only because of that extra amount which is added to the tank, it takes 15 hours to empty the tank, right? So now, what is that extra amount of water is added? 4 liter per minute. So per minute, that is for 1 minute, 4 liter is added. So for 60 minutes, that is for 1 hour, 4 into 60. So 0, 240 liters. So 240 liter is added to the tank in 1 hour. So now 240 liter. But we don't know what is the total capacity of the tank. Understood or not? Just now we have learned how to write this equation. So the difference only because of the 240 liter. Because of the 240 liter, it takes 15 hours more, right? So, but we don't know what is the total capacity of the tank. So now find the answer 1 by 10 minus of 1 by 15 is equals to 240 by x. So now you can take LCM as 30 here. So 3 times 2 times 
240 by x so this will be 1 by 30 so 1 by 30 is equal to 240 by x so x is equal to 240 into 30 so resultant will be 0 0 4 into 3 will be 12 7200 liter so 7200 liter will be the capacity of the tank easy or not very easy if you know how to write this equation right now you feel easy first question some students may think it is difficult but while solving a second question it is easy while solving many questions that is based upon this concept you will definitely feel easy if you know how to write this equation in case if you want to solve the same question by a traditional method then what is the procedure first you need to take lcm in order to find how many hours it will take to fill the crystal right so 1 by 10 minus 1 by 50 when you add this lcm is 30 here 10 threes are 30 15 twos are 30 that is 1 by 30 and all the values are in hours right so convert into minute so 1 by 30 into minute will be 60 so 1800 0. so now what we say is for 1800 0, for every one minute right one minute so one part is filled Yes or no, right? We are saying that for one minute, how much part is filled? So one minute, one divided by 1800 part is filled. So in order to fill one part, it takes 1880 minute. So now for every minute, how many liter of water is coming into the piston? Four liters. So 1800 into four. So zero, zero, eight, four, so 32, 7200 liters. So in both the way, we are getting the answers, right? Just see which method feels you easy whether the equation model or the normal traditional method so learn that method so if you if you see the these kinds of question even while solving some tough level questions i have seen in pipes and crystals while solving some tough level questions we can able to see the same concept right sometimes they will say it takes two hours more three hours more so same scenario if it is take three hours more from the 10 hours it will be 13 hours right after writing 13 as instead of 15 we write 13 so everything will be same in some difficult question also but the procedure this solving method right for both the cases is important either by equation method or else by a traditional method so i will what i can do is i can give you one homer question right i, I sorry uh, I thought of solving this question also but okay I can give you one Omer question so friends try to solve this Omer question on your own a same concept just look at the question a tank has a leak which would empty it in 16 hours a tap is turned on which admits 12 liter a minute into the tank and now empty in 24 hours so usually it takes 16 hours some amount of water is added to the tank because of that it takes 24 hours right? it takes 24 hours and how much water is added 12 liter per minute so what is our target our target is to find how many liters does the tank hold a same thought of question right everything is same you have to solve like this and find the answer so our answer for this question is 34,560 right so just check whether you are getting the answer or not so 34,560 liter is the capacity of this tank so friends that's it about this video so finally we have solved a uh, five question i think so in this video that is based on leak so this uh, tank leak or most important concept still more lesson has to be taught here in pipes and pistons i will teach all the concepts so try to watch all my lessons in the topic pipes and pistons learn more practice more is important write the test series only then you will get an idea how to solve the pipes and pistons question so friends, thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So friends, thank you so much for watching it. Bye.